Have you ever wondered how to take your titanium knife from this to this? We got you covered. Welcome to the shop. Today on How to Knife, we're gonna teach you how to anodize titanium at home. Whether it's a backspacer, pocket clip, or scale, we've got you covered. Here's what you need. Cleaner to clean your titanium piece. Distilled water, containers, solute to make your anodization solution, a good conductor, titanium wire, alligator clips, nine volt batteries, the titanium piece or pieces you'll be anodizing, personal protection equipment, and some paper towels to keep everything clean. And now for a bit of science. Titanium anodization works by manipulating a thin oxide layer through DC current and an electrolyte solution. You get different colors by running higher voltage through your titanium piece while it is in the solution. 9 volt will get you a bronze, 18 volt will get you a brown, and so on. In a professional setup, you can run up to 110 volts. For our at-home setup, your colors will top out at around 90 volts. Now that you know the basics, it's time to take your knife apart. We're going to be using a CRKT Pilar with an aftermarket titanium scale from Flytanium. So we're going to be using the uh, Weha tool. Uh, this is pretty cool because it has a bunch of bits here. Now that you have your knife apart, it's time to start cleaning your titanium piece. Before you start cleaning, make sure you have your PPE on, uh, gloves, safety glasses, and that you're in a well-ventilated area. So we're gonna be using Simple Green to clean our piece. You can also use acetone and alcohol. We tested all three and found that Simple Green works the best. Make sure you're taking your time when you're cleaning your piece. Any imperfections in the titanium when you go to anodize it will show up in your anodization job. Once you've cleaned it thoroughly, then you can just dip it in some distilled water, dry it off, set it to the side. Next, we're going to mix up our solution that we'll actually be anodizing in. So we're gonna take two cups of water, two tablespoons of baking soda for about an eight to one mixture, and we're gonna let the baking soda completely dissolve in the water. Here you can also use a trisodium phosphate or TSP. You can also use borax. We tried all three out and we found we pulled more vibrant colors with the baking soda. So you wanna make sure that you mark your solution and your rinse water to not get them mixed up. So now that you have your titanium piece cleaned, your electrolyte solution mixed up and ready to go, it's time to establish your positive and negative connection or your grounded and hot connection to start anodizing. To make our positive connection, we're gonna be using this red alligator clip and this titanium wire. We're just gonna put the clip right to the titanium wire just like this, and we'll hook it up to the battery here in just a moment. To make our negative connection, we're gonna be using this black alligator clip and this titanium flatanium straw. Now, you can use other things to make a ground, a um, more negative connection. You could use a wad of tin foil, uh, something that's stainless steel. You could even use your copper wire. What we found is that those other methods tended to drain our batteries a lot faster. So we're gonna use this affordable titanium straw to make the best ground we can. All right, now that we have our solution side positive and negative ready, we're ready to hook up our batteries and then hook up our battery side negative and positive. So as you know, with a nine volt battery, you get a negative terminal and a positive terminal. So we're gonna do three batteries because we're trying to go for a Blade HQ Blue. Um, so we're gonna plug a negative and positive together. And then we are gonna plug a negative and positive together. And then we will take our negative cable and attach it to the negative terminal on the battery. And then we're gonna take our positive connector and connect it to our positive terminal on the battery. And now we've got our circuit and we're ready to start anodizing. All right, now that your circuit is complete, you wanna take your titanium piece and attach it to your positive wire. Now you wanna be careful here and make sure that your positive wire doesn't lay across the face of your titanium piece or it will leave a mark during the anodization process. So we're gonna make a little bend here in the wire. We're going to set our titanium piece on it and get ready to dip it. Now pay attention because you're gonna be surprised at how quickly the color of your titanium piece is going to change. All right, we're all set up. Let's make some color. You'll leave your titanium piece in your solution until it stops changing colors. All right, that's pretty awesome. Let's dry it off and see how it turned out.
Right, that turned out pretty good. Now you may be asking yourself, what about other colors? Don't worry, we've got you covered. So we have the advantage of having some extra titanium pieces laying around. So we're going to run you through all the different colors you can get using this at-home method of anodization. Make sure when you're dipping your piece in your solution that you don't touch your ground, otherwise your titanium piece will get an arc spot on it. We can't stress enough how important it is to clean your titanium well, very, very well. Otherwise, it'll end up looking like this. If your piece doesn't turn out how you want, you can remove the anodization using Barkeeper's Friend and a little bit of elbow grease. We have tons of different titanium accessories on the website that you can dress up your current knife, such as pocket clips, backspacers, etc. And just as a reminder, depending on how well you clean your titanium piece, what type of coating it had on it when you got it, and what solution you use, your colors may vary. And it really is that easy to anodize titanium at home. Let us know down in the comments what you guys anodized, how it turned out, and thanks for stopping by the shop. If you like knives, you should subscribe to the Blade HQ channel. We have a sweet how-to knife playlist where we've got a bunch of other awesome tutorials. And as always, you can go to bladehq.com for all of your titanium accessory and knife needs.